Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Friday, March the 12th, and it's 10.18 a.m. I'm going to bring you some words from two of Dawn's newsletters. Okay, some are not so encouraging, but they are more like advice or instruction for those who need it. All right? All right, they're all short, <clears throat> and I pray these help the ones who are needing the help pertaining to the subject. All right, the first one came, this came yesterday at 8.43 a.m. This is Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. Do not lose hope. You have not been given more than you can handle, but you must manage your time and stress level by seeking me in every circumstance. Boy, howdy, this is talking to me. I have to remember to ask him to help me with everything I do. I'm getting better at it, though. All right, I'll continue. You can attain the peace you desire as you earnestly walk and live in my spirit. I will strengthen you and give you the confidence necessary for you to succeed. The verse that was put with this is from Galatians 5 verse 25. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Okay, now we're going to skip this one and go down to the next one. Put, put up March 11th also. These, all the rest of these have March 11th on them. When my only begotten Son, Jesus, was on earth, he would come away from the crowd, even his disciples, to talk and listen to me. It would be good if you did the same thing. In quietness, you can hear me more. I'm sorry, you can hear me more clearly. In the night, when you awaken, is a good time for us to be alone. I am on the throne and Jesus is right beside me. You are seated with him anyway. Let's talk. The verse put with this is Mark 1, 35. This is from the ESV. Bible. And rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place, and there he prayed. And this was given to Bev Robinson. The next one. Satan has persuaded, has, let me start over. Satan has you persuaded that you're defeated and an unfortunate victim of ill-fated circumstances. It's as if you have been brainwashed by his negativity and have fallen prey to his lies. You have become miserable in your self-pity and have found yourself associating with other downcast individuals because misery loves company. Isn't that the truth? If you want to commiserate and you're, say it's a health issue, you're just hurting all the time, you want to commiserate. Or maybe it's a lack of money. You're always 
of having to fix this and having to fix that. That can be a curse. You might be able to kick that curse or demon to the curb and stop having to fix everything. But you won't think that way if you're commiserating or always complaining about it instead of taking it to the Lord. Okay, let me finish this. So, and, and you tend to want to be with other people that will listen and commiserate with you. You know what I mean? So, here's what Jesus is saying. You have become miserable in your self-pity and have found yourself associating with other downcast individuals because misery loves company. Realize that I am always working on your behalf. I am continually forming and shaping you for good things. Hold your head high. Speak my truths. Speak truth. Romans 8.28 from the TPT Bible, which I have no idea what that is. So we are convinced that every detail of our lives is continually woven together for good. For we are his lovers who have been called to fulfill his designed purpose. His, we are called to fulfill his designed purpose. That one was given to Kevin Robinson. All right, March 11th, 2021. What is it that you fear? I have not called you to fear, but to place your trust and confidence in me. Do not fear when situations do not work out like you think they should. I know the end from the beginning. Fear is an enemy that stops the progress that I am accomplishing in your life. Face your fear and do not run or give in to it, but stand firm in my complete peace. Psalm 23 Verses 4 and 5 from the NASB. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup overflows. I just love Psalm 23. It's actually part of my praying. I say it all the time. Well, like every day, sometimes twice a day. And this one was given to Jonas Bolden. All right, now that was today's. And I mean yesterday's, and this is today's. All right. Received at 8.24 a.m. Regardless, this first one is small straws in a soft wind. I better get a drink. Okay. Regardless of the bizarre nature of current circumstances, I never change. You can count on me to be the same. My word is true and powerful and is the solid rock on which you must stand. Refuse to succumb to pressure, fear, and worry. Get grounded in me because I am your strength in times of trouble. 
Luke 6, 47-48 says, Whoever comes to me and hears my sayings and does them, I will show you whom he is like. He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation on the rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently against that house and could not shake it, for it was founded on the rock. I like that. I don't know what version it is. He doesn't say. All right, we're going to skip the next one. And we're going to move. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and, and enter this one, but if you, if you think anything is, uh, I'm not sure, you take it to the Lord and feel free to let me know what you think about it. This is one like we would normally find on 444 Prophecy News. So were the other two I skipped. It was part one and part two of somebody's. I, I didn't feel right about them. This one is called, This Place is Not Your Home. It was actually given October 21st, 2020 to Cryptic One. And it's called Sojourner. Oh, wait. They're giving you a definition of Sojourner. Must be in the message. A person who resides temporarily in a place okay here's what this person who goes by cryptic one received come to me all you who labor and I will give you rest I am the one that you seek come follow me unto the ends of the earth I will sustain you I will nourish you when you are parched, for I am the living water with streams that never run dry. I am life to the living and to the sorrowful. I am an oasis in the desert. I am life. I give life. Come. The hour of darkness and iniquity draws near, children. This place is not your home or abode. This is a temporary resting place. You are sojourners in this land. My kingdom is not of this world. My kingdom is with my Father who art in heaven. Come follow me, and I will give you rest. I am rest to the weary, the humble, the poor, the oppressed, the abused, the lonely, the suicidal. I will give you rivers of living water. I am truth. I am who I am. I am the only way through the darkness that will envelop the earth. I am the only way through the darkness that will envelop the earth. That will happen. And I believe because of the message I received from the Lord, after the first fruits departure, the three days of darkness settles upon the earth. How it happens is debatable. Some say one way, some say another way. All of them heard from the Lord. Well, 
I just believe it's supernatural. The Lord does it. That's my opinion. That's how I got it from what he told me. He did not tell me a big planet comes in the way. Maybe it does. I don't know. He didn't tell me. So that's, but the darkness will come. And if you call upon the name of the Lord Jesus, if you don't make the first rapture, whatever, if you don't make it, because of maybe some little sin you won't give up maybe you haven't forgiven somebody you try you try but you can't you haven't laid it at the feet of jesus and made an effort to call and say i forgive you for what you did how are you doing today are you doing all right something like that Anyway, it goes on. Come follow me. All else are lies and deception and death and iniquity and everything that is vile. Come follow me. I offer you peace in the raging storm, in the face of calamity. In the midst of trials and hopelessness, endure to the end, children. You must persevere. I will sustain you if you but call my name. I will answer you. Seek me while I may be found. I am yours. And you are mine. Amen. Your Lord and Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, the one who is and is to come. They put scripture reference here, Philippians 3.20. For our citizenship is in heaven from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Chronicles 29, 15 For we are aliens and pilgrims. Some, some versions say strangers and pilgrims. Before you, as were all our fathers, our days on earth are as a shadow and without hope. Praise be to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. With that, I'll end it here. I say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over each and every single one of us, and all our devices and all our internet connections so we can stay connected until we're out of here god bless you each and every one of you bye for now i'll talk to you later